sick, injured and under fire. More than 100,000 civilians are caught in the army's final battle against Tamil Tiger rebels. This footage, filmed inside the war zone and given to Al Jazeera, shows a makeshift medical facility. Overcrowded, understaffed and lacking medicines, it's also become a target of the fighting. The International Committee of the Red Cross says recent shelling here killed 16 patients. The ICRC is one of the only aid groups operating inside the war zone. On Tuesday, local fishermen helped it evacuate 240 patients by sea, most of them in such a bad state they couldn't even sit up. The operation was so difficult, the Red Cross says it had to postpone a second evacuation until Thursday. This was a very complex operation which could only take place uh, after both sides had granted the safe passage for this operation to take place and with the full support of the civil authorities, of the medical staff and also of the security forces. And we hope that today we will be able to evacuate the remaining patients. The aid workers say more than 200,000 civilians are still trapped in an ever-shrinking patch of rebel-held territory, with so far only a fraction managing to escape into government lands. The Tamil Tiger rebels, or LTTE, have fought for decades for a separate homeland in northeast Sri Lanka. After years of fruitless negotiations, the military has, in recent weeks, grown close to achieving the government's aim of annihilating the group. But the number of civilians being killed has also risen. Each side blames the other, and no one seems to be taking responsibility for the innocent caught in this bloody conflict. Laura Kyle, Al Jazeera.